الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله إخلاص لله sincerity to Allah سبحانه وتعالى is one of the conditions for having our deeds accepted in Islam so that the one who wants to prepare for Jannah will strive their best to not just do deeds, righteous deeds, but do them for the sake of Allah. Make their intention to please Allah Azza wa Jal. And may Allah bless us all with ikhlas, with thabat. The second condition is thabat ala sunnah, or mutaba'ah, is following the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So those are the two conditions for having your deeds accepted in Islam. What are the two conditions for having our deeds accepted in Islam? First is ikhlas, sincerity to Allah, that you do the act of worship for Allah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the second condition is that it's in accordance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When we look at various people in their da'wah and various people in their mu'amalad and ourselves and what we're trying to do and our worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we always have to put it on that scale. You could look at it as if it's a scale. Ikhlas, and, ikhlas, sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, thabat or, or mutaba' following the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so therefore when you pray did you pray for Allah or did you pray to show off to the people did you pray to Allah or did you uh, pray to you, you beautified your prayer for some other reason likewise the second condition did you pray in accordance with the sunnah of the Prophet so perhaps you may have prayed trying to please Allah but you prayed in a manner which is which not known to the Prophet which innovated or changed the religion of Islam changed it from the way the Prophet legislated and Allah Taala Subhana legislated so Ahabatifillah Understanding those two conditions is imperative. And we'll talk separately, very shortly, about each of those conditions. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ikhlas, with the bat ala sunnah, wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabiyyana Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.